And our final plot in our six pack is the capability plot. This displays all four capability indices and the associated standard deviations. So it shows your potential process spread, which is six times the standard deviation. That's where Six Sigma comes from, actually. And it shows the location of the process center compared to the potential spread. So you'll notice we really have three different charts in here, and they're all kind of saying the same thing. Overall and within are the ones that show your potential process spread. So if you have that, if you see that lower the leftmost bar on these, that is your um, three standard deviations below. If you go to the right, the rightmost, that is three standard deviations above. These are really most useful when you compare each of them against the specs chart. Okay, you draw these lines straight down through the specs. It would give you an idea of where the location of your process center is compared to your spec limits and your nominal. And it would give you an idea of where your upper and lower potential process spread are within the specs. Okay, so this is kind of similar to your capability histogram where we're actually plotting the width and the spread of our process compared to the tolerance spread. So another thing we can use the capability plot to do is assess the stability of our process. What that means is our overall and our within standard deviations and our overall and within process spreads should be very similar. We want them to basically line up because they're two different standard deviations that are calculated just slightly differently because they tell us a little bit different things. In a later video, we will talk about the difference between these and what it really means. But for now, what you're going to want to know is these standard deviations should be really close. Your CP and your PP should be really close. And your overall and within should look like the same exact chart if you have great data. All right, that is it for our capability six pack. I hope you learned a lot and I hope now you know how to use QE Suite to really dig in and learn about your data. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and please do something awesome.